Okay, we got our uh, rec room objects. Uh, now I want to make it so I can place a bunch of these doors and a bunch of these coins. Uh, every time I pick up a coin, uh, I, I have the uh, um, I can now open a door. So uh, one coin for each door. I don't care which coin goes to what door. So I need some kind of global coin counter and a way to uh, send messages to if uh, I can lock or unlock these doors. So I'm going to start with, with doing that. I'm going to do uh, a little little system here that's going to live you know anywhere anywhere in the room but at room level and I'm going to use events to um, to hook this up so we get less spider web. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to select nothing uh, in the world here in, in this uh, in circuit editor. Um, and then I can do, now I'm going to add, let's, let's start by adding some events. Um, so we can do this in, in a couple of ways. Bring up the circuit palette, circuit palette, we can, we can dock somewhere and use the, you know, browse uh, through, find what you want. We can also type in, so I want to do some event definitions. If I drop something in here, it's going to drop it in front of the camera over here. So, um, there we go first event definition. Right click, rename it, uh, and let's let's make an event for add coin. Alright, um, I'm gonna duplicate that one and say, let's do another one. Remove coin. Alright, so every time I add something, I'm going to add, uh, walk over a coin, I'm going to add a coin, and every time I open a door, I'm going to remove a coin. Uh, and then I'm going to have to, I'm going to have another um, event definition here uh, that uh, will tell the objects in the world what the current count is. So do this and say, uh, on coin count changed. Something like that. All right, got the three, those, those are all global events. So um, they can all be listened to and add you know, or, and called upon from anywhere. Uh, I'm actually, so with the coin count change, I wanna, I wanna say what is the, uh, the count. So I'm gonna add a property, put a basic property, a bunch of other crazy properties you can use. Uh, int, <coughs> and I'm just going to call it count. There we go. So we got the three definitions. Um, now what do we do? So uh, let's say we're going to. This system is going to listen for someone adding a coin. Actually, before I even do that, I'm going to make a new variable. So I can I can find it in here. There's another way, if you don't want the palette up, you can right click and say create node. It'll pop up another palette right there. So int variable, boom, goes right there. Um, and I'm going to call this coin count. Um, and let's say, let's make a uh, an event receiver. So our system listens for, so right click on this to set what type of event you want to listen to. I want to listen to add coin. Okay. Add coin is going to go in and set the coin value to something. Well, what is it? Um, I'm going to do an, we need to add here. So we just need to add one. So let's get the coin count in here. And then this now pops up. You can type in a value here because now I know it's an, it's an int. You say add plus one, put that sum out here. Okay, so that's cool. Someone can call this in. We're going to add our coin count to it one. Excellent. Now, next thing we want to do is we now want to send out to the world what our new coin count is. So. Let's do that. So just showing you another another way to uh, create nodes is you can tr drag from this one out. And say, what do I, what I want to do here? I want to do an event, event sender. 
that's going to connect uh, immediately and it's also going to filter on everything that had executable which in this case wasn't that that useful but could be useful for when you have specific types you want to know what kind of uh, what kind of nodes can connect to this this type like an AI chip or a button or something uh, okay so it's going to send something it's going to send one coin ch changed great what's the what's the new value well it's this coin count again right so it goes in there yep so we added went in added plus one and now sends out the new coin for the world to hear about uh, let's do i'm just going to copy paste this so duplicate it put it up here what do we want to do we want to say set the event <clears throat> remove coin coin goes in add i'm going to add with a negative one and then i'm going to send it out and we're done um, i'm going to just for good measure i'm going to do one more thing here and i'm going to make it so we can reset the system so this this receiver has not only the events I, I did but a couple of the global ones right so room reset it's going to set this coin count to zero and then it's going to send that out so that's kind of cool all right so we got a fully functional little global coin counter with um where you can send events and you can receive events